cooking with Becky. Hey, good morning, and hey, all you Packers fans. Big, big game. So what are you going to make for your game day spread? I've got a great idea for you. Besides picking up your Packers cake, putting out a, a veggie and, and dip tray, maybe a cheese and sausage tray, got to have something warm. Whether you're having people over to watch the game or you're going to the game, I've got the perfect thing. We're going to make a, a cheesy uh, broccoli soup that everyone will love and the best part about it it's green and gold and super easy to make you can start it in your slow cooker right now it'll be done plenty of time before the game and it's so so simple we start with two cans of cream of celery soup hardest part about this recipe is just getting that cream of celery soup out of the can and that's pretty easy all right so let's get that all out of there and right into the slow cooker Two cans. It's gonna be such a great game today. I'm so excited. And if you have tickets, I'm so jealous. I'll be watching in the comfort of my living room though, eating a big bowl of this cheesy broccoli soup. So get that right in there. Next we have one pound. And if you like it cheesier, you can do a little more. I won't tell anybody. Of just processed Velveeta cheese that we've cubed up. You don't want to put the whole block in there whole because then it just won't melt very well. So we've just cubed it up, throw it right in there. We have two 10 ounce boxes. These are just the inexpensive boxes of frozen chopped broccoli and you don't even need to thaw it out. Just put it right there in there. Two 10 ounce boxes, one pound of Velveeta, two cans of cream of celery soup, one small finely diced onion, about a half cup of diced onion if your onion's really big. I like a lot of black pepper, so we're just going to throw in some black pepper. And now we've got about a cup, and you can just kind of eyeball it, of chicken broth. If you have homemade, great. I usually use the, the can or the box, not quite the full can. And then, depending on how thick you like it, the recipe calls for four cups of half and half. What I like to do is maybe start with three, and if this after it cooks for a while, and it's if it looks a little um, too thick, you can always add some more. So at this point, we want to put the lid on this slow cooker, and in three to four hours, you're going to have some gorgeous, cheesy, wonderful green and gold, green and gold. Uh, cheesy broccoli soup. So just the lid on that, three to four hours on low. Want to do it on low when you've got cheese soup going on. You can also add in, if you want a little bit uh, extra something, something, you can throw in some fresh mushrooms. You can throw in a little pimento or red pepper just to kind of, you know, make the soup even prettier. So we've got a whole crock pot of it here. This is great for leftovers too. My husband, Bob, this is one of his favorites. And, uh, you know, if there's any leftover, which there probably won't be, after the game, it's great to take for lunch. So we're going to serve this with some, you know, some nice crusty French bread, or I like to garnish it with some more cheddar cheese on top, and then some croutons. Go pack, go!